This month, we pause to recognize Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. The theme is, a day on, not a day off. The Martin Luther King Day of Service is a part of the United We Serve, the President's National Call to Serve initiative. It calls for Americans from all walks of life to work together to provide solutions to our most pressing national problems. The day represents the opportunity to start the year off right by making a positive impact in one's community. To me, MLK Day is a day to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. His life and legacy as a champion, not only for civil rights, but human rights. Equality, courage, truth, and compassion for all people. His life broke down barriers of interracial and intercultural differences. He united people around the world for a common purpose and a shared vision of hope and unconditional love. Martin Luther King developed a six-step process for nonviolent social change. In this process, he greatly emphasized love and action Put another way, love and service. This is what MLK stood for and made this his duty to unite people around the world. His legacy of love and service of all people to overcome all forms of inequality and be united together as one people lives on today. All right, so the question that uh, Lauren had asked me is, why is Martin Luther King Day important to me? Certainly Martin Luther King was a very important man, a very inspirational man, and admired for many reasons his ability to speak in public, motivate and, and inspire others. But in studying for this, or preparing for this, um, I ran across some quotes, uh, famous quotes of his, and I landed on one uh, that, that, that touched me and meant a lot to me. It says, life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for others? That was from a 1963 sermon entitled Three Dimensions of a Complete Life. Now I need to go back and look at that sermon to figure out what the other two dimensions are. But this one, uh, asking the question of what you're doing for others, uh, is certainly a, a very powerful point of view and a very powerful dimension uh, for a person to have. Uh, on this National Day of Service, um, think about this. Think about, think about it as a day, not to do something on that day, but think about it as a day to reflect on what you've done in the past for others and what you plan to do in the future. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is a day for all people to remember and celebrate his life and achievements. Dr. King's strong leadership and revolutionary power of speech gave millions of people the strength and the courage to keep working peacefully when others did not. The legacy of Dr. King lives in all of us and it is our personal responsibility to continually promote and teach racial equality. Martin Luther King Jr. was a verdadero leader. Revolucionó a nuestro país al comenzar y avanzar el movimiento de derechos civiles para nuestros hermanos y hermanas afroamericanos. De la misma forma, otros ciudadanos de escasos privilegios mediante métodos de resistencia sin violencia. Hoy en día, Martin Luther King sigue sirviendo de inspiración y marca el paso para otros grupos y minorías peleen por sus derechos y libertades. Why is Martin Luther King Day important? It's a reminder of the great work Martin Luther King did to peacefully bring civil, social, and economic change to all oppressed citizens in the United States. Today also symbolizes where we used to be as a country and how far we have come together as a nation in assuring equal rights to all. So not only on MLK Day, but because of Dr. King, every day we need to remember we are all created equal. Xin chào các bạn. Là một công dân Hoa Kỳ, chúng ta nên cần phải biết tại sao ngày lễ Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. là một ngày lễ quan trọng. Ngày lễ Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. đã đánh dấu một ngày rất quan trọng trong lịch sử của đất nước Hoa Kỳ vì ông ta là biểu tượng của sự sống trong kỷ nguyên hiện đại và cũng là một biểu tượng quan trọng hàng đầu là một nhân vật mấu chốt trong công cuộc và phong trào đòi hỏi quyền công dân cho người dân tộc thiểu số và người da màu. Trong những bài giảng và thuyết pháp của ông, lời lẽ của ông đã vang vọng khắp nơi kêu gọi toàn thể chúng ta cùng nhau nỗ lực tranh đấu và giành sự tự do, công bằng vào một ngày mai tươi sáng. Những nghĩa cử và hành động của ông đã gây truyền cảm cho toàn thể mọi người trên thế giới, trên đất nước Hoa Kỳ. Ông ta cũng đã hy sinh chính mạng sống của mình để đấu tranh và hy vọng có thể đổi lấy được sự bình an, thịnh vượng của toàn thể mọi người trên thế giới và đặc biệt là công dân Hoa Kỳ. 
Và chúng ta biết rằng Không mấy ai trên thế giới này Có thể hy sinh mạng sống của mình Để đổi lấy sự tự do Và bình an hạnh phúc cho người khác Và Dr. Martin Luther King Đã làm được nghĩa cử Cao đẹp vĩ đại đó Vì vậy chúng ta cần phải tưởng niệm Và vinh danh công ơn của người Và sự hy sinh của ông Đã dành cho chúng ta Cảm ơn, xin chào tạm biệt các bạn One of the things that I really admire about Dr. King was his personal courage and the courage to do what was right, no matter how unpopular it might be, uh, no matter what it cost him. Uh, and as we all know, it ultimately wound up costing his life. So for me, I hope in my own personal life, um, I aspire to have that kind of personal courage to do the right thing and to be that selfless during his lifetime, King encouraged all citizens to pursue the purpose and potential of America. He strived to realize the dreams of equality and a nation that affords freedom and justice for all by applying the principles of nonviolence to make this country a better place to live. I live over in Athens, Alabama. In downtown, we have an ice cream shop that has two drinking fountains on the, on the east side of it. One was, of course, for whites and one was for non-whites back in the, in the 50s and early 60s. I think what Martin Luther King means to me is he was a person who was willing to stand up and fight against human idiocy. Things that we look back at now 50 years later and think how foolish that was. And so here's one man who stood up and non-violently changed, changed the world uh, and what hadn't changed in, in the years before that. So I think I have to, to ask myself every day, what are we doing today that people are going to look at 50 years from now and think is really stupid.